What's up everyone and welcome to the 75,000 subscriber celebration where we are going to go every couple of weeks we are going to open a fat pack through history one of every fat pack ever created. So if you haven't been subscribed now's the great time to do it so you get notified each and every time I upload. We are going to start with the very first fat pack ever released Mercadian Masks. This is a mat from Masks Block uh, it came out in 99. It was part, the other sets in the block were Mercadian Mass, Nemesis, and Prophecy. And it was also the first set not subject to Wizards of the Coast reprint policy, meaning that none of the cards could appear on its reserved list. Um, this is definitely, if you're a newer player, you've probably never seen a fat pack like this. Um, it gets two premium cards, three booster packs, a tournament pack, official player's guide, and a novel. Um, I'm thinking about doing a series where I just read the novels or something like that. And you can see, look at plain white corrugated background. Um, definitely a, kind of a historical moment here. There are some crazy powerful cards in the set. Rashad and Port at foil is nearly $500. There's food chain, bribery, black market, dust bowl, misdirection, so much high market super expensive foil unmask i mean the foils are super spendy in this set so uh let's let's go ahead and open this the oldest possible fat pack you can purchase and let's kind of lay it out here this is really cool been working on this collection for some time and rather than wait for the entire thing to be complete, here's the Mercadian Masks book by Francis LeBaron. We have three dusty packs of Mercadian Masks, which hopefully contain a super spendy... Look at this box. This is how old it is. Watch the Magic Championships on ESPN2. Very cool. There's theme decks. I don't know if this is like a starter deck um, or not. Whoa, look at this. We have a foil warmonger. Since these are included, I doubt they're worth anything. But let's open it up. I don't even know what's in here. You start out with a foil warmonger. Beautiful. And a foil forest. In the back, we have one of my all-time favorite pieces of memorabilia here. Let's put the cards aside. I'm trying to spend a little extra time on the actual, uh, the actual product. So we have a Magic the Gathering Player's Guide. It has a free card, so we see the free foil card, Warmonger. Uh, top 10 power cards, 6 killer combos, and you actually get, I mean, look at the value. You get full color guide. This is when Wizards actually also included a price guide. It's just for lols, I'm going to um, read this. And look at that, channel sponsor uh, Troll and Toad is actually featured in here. Check out our webpage for new online ordering. I can't wait to read this later. This is going to be so awesome. And then you've got all the cards in here, just like you would get in a fat pack. Subscription to Duelist. Very cool. Look at the Grand Prix prize, $15,000, Grand Prix San Diego, 1999. I'm talking about interactive encyclopedias, got some advertisement, the Battle Royale. Very cool. Can't wait to read through that later. Definitely want to collect those. I don't know if they're worth anything, but let's look at the book. This is book one. Treachery stalks the Weatherlight. Escaping from wrath, the crew of the flying ship Weatherlight finds itself adrift, grieving for their lost comrades. In need of repairs, they make their painful way to Mercadia, a city where everything is for sale. 
But not everything is at its seams. In the streets of Mercadia, the heroes of the Weatherlight find that more than mer merchandise can be bought and sold. Man, I can't wait to read this. There's even some, some illustrations in here, which is kind of cool. As long as Wizards doesn't care, maybe, uh, maybe I'll, uh, <laughs> do like some sort of reading of this book. A dramatic fireside reading. Alright, well, um, so here are the booster packs. Let's open those after what I think is just a starter deck. Um, let's see, 75 randomly sorted, uh, game cards, Mercadia Mask rules insert, rule book not included. All right, let's see what we've got in here. So I, I can't thank you guys enough for, uh, supporting the channel. Now that we've reached 75,000 subscribers, I'm hoping to really springboard in 2015 to just blow past that to a hundred plus thousand we've got i'm gonna try to get back to my roots here opening old product and that's part of the reason i decided just to move forward with the fat pack celebration rather than delaying it we have a mountain look at that silver come on or shot in port I don't think there'll be any foils in here. Beautiful lands, black border lands, mint condition. Whoa, there is a foil land in there. Look at that. I'm going to try to keep all this stuff together and then um, sell off as much of it as I can and um, so that I can buy the next fat pack next week. All right, so our first rare is a sand squid. Our second rare is a squeeze. And our third rare is armistice. So I don't think we hit anything crazy. We have our frequently asked questions. I should fill this out and send it in just for lols. Let's kind of go through these. Terran Enforcer. Energy flux, sustenance. Ooh, there is that a, a foil uncommon scandal monger. There are some crazy expensive foils uh, in older sets, so I'll have to just be careful. We have our book here, rules insert, and I wasn't playing uh, at the time Mercadian Mass came out, so. Um, the nostalgia factor is more in the actually opening old school fat pack than anything. Sandstone needle, tiger claws. Woo, hickory woodlot. Those are so pretty. So how many of you guys were playing during Mercadian Masks and what were your favorite cards? Can't wait to uh, open up the next fat pack. But I'm going to pace myself. I'm just going to open them up uh, every 10 days or so. Sabazan Scary. Highway Robber. Rashad and Cut Purse. Thunderclap. Okay. So I think we missed on those rares, but um, at least nothing that I have recognized. Let's get to the juicy packs. These are, these are making me want to go out and buy like a booster box now. Fortunately, they have the uh, rare uh, notation on the cards, on the color. Chameleon Spirit, Uncommon. Rushwood Legate. Ghoul's Feast and a rare... Liability. Three mana, one and two black. Whenever a card is put into a player's graveyard from play, that player loses one life. We might as well go through the comments too. Whoa! That's a... I forgot how beautiful these foils are. We have a foil port inspector there. We 
There's a brainstorm. Oh yeah, I forgot. Foil brainstorm's worth like a fortune too. How did I forget about foil brainstorm? Next pack. Where our foil brainstorm will lie. We have putrefaction, shoving match, shoving buddies, desert twister, super, super expensive removal, and our rare, show me a land, it's blue, embargo, four mana, non-land permanents don't untap during the controller's untap step. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose two life. It's not a fun card. We've got Blaster Mage, Vendetta, Ferocity, Nightwing Glider, Misstep, Flush Volunteer, Sever Soul, Sin, Stone Needle, Sacred Prey, Cave Sense, and Charm Peddler. Alright, last pack. So if you know anyone who wants to take this journey with us and see every fat pack ever opened over the next couple months here, maybe let them know about the channel. And uh, I would expect a new fat pack open in under two weeks. The very next one in the set. We have barbed wire. Warmonger to go with our foil warmonger. Larceny. And our rare midnight ritual. X2 and a black, remove X target creature cards in your graveyard from the game. For each creature card removed this way, put a 2-2 two, two zombie creature token into play. That's very similar to the uh, Empty the Pits card, right? Maggot Therapy. Flaming Sword. The art, I'm trying to go like through them all just so you can see how the art has just changed so much. Rushwood Dryad. Revered Elder. Blockade Runner, Snuff Out, Deepwood Ghoul, Curing Glider, Invigorate, and a Foil Brainstorm. Oh wait, I mean, Devout Witness. Well, they can't all be crazy, and uh, we just opened three random packs, so I'll have to go through them. Uh, nothing jumped out at me. I didn't see anything crazy, crazy. Uh, but this whole journey is not about the money, clearly. It's about the history, preserving a little bit of it, and also educating myself and some of you guys who weren't around uh, to what kind of stuff's out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all for everything. Stay tuned for the next Fat Pack opening. This is going to be one heck of a summer. This is going to be one heck of a journey. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week, so if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.